How to prevent common acid reflux surgery Although acid reflux can be controlled through the means of medical treatments and appropriate diet, some people who suffer from severe forms of the condition may require acid reflux surgery. Acid reflux has a recidivating character and surgery is the best means of fully overcoming the condition. There are several medical procedures in acid reflux surgery and the most effective ones are laparoscopic anti-reflux surgery, also known as laparoscopic Nissen fundoplication and intraluminal endoscopic surgery. These surgical procedures are both considered to be safe and patients usually recover quickly after the operation. Acid reflux, gastroesophageal reflux disease, is a physiological condition that usually occurs due to inappropriate activity of the lower esophageal sphincter, muscular valve that connects the esophagus to the stomach, allowing the content of the stomach to reflux into the esophagus and throat. In normal conditions, the esophageal lower sphincter should be able to prevent the regurgitation of the stomach acids into the esophagus. The sphincter normally acts like a barrier between the stomach and the esophagus, sealing the walls of the esophagus in order to protect the organ from the digestive fluids produced by the stomach. However, due to abnormal pressure at the lower end of esophagus, weakness of the esophageal lower sphincter, abnormal positioning of the esophagus inside the body or in constant muscular contractions of the sphincter, the digestive fluids produced by the stomach are allowed to enter into the esophagus and the throat. Acid reflux surgery can correct the actual causes of the condition, normalizing the activity of the lower esophageal sphincter and therefore preventing the access of gastric acids to the superior levels of the esophagus. Acid reflux surgery involves simple medical procedures and it provides permanent results for people who are constantly affected by the condition. Acid reflux surgery is recommended for people with chronic forms of acid reflux, but it is also suitable for other patients with less serious forms of the condition. The most common form of acid reflux surgery is fundoplication. This form of acid reflux surgery involves tightening the walls of the esophagus in the region adjacent to the stomach, thus increasing the pressure near the lower esophageal sphincter. By increasing the pressure at the union point between the esophagus and stomach, acid reflux surgery prevents the content of the stomach from being regurgitated upwards, inside the esophagus and the throat. One other method used in acid reflux surgery involves tightening the esophageal valve. By doing so, the valve will be able to efficiently seal the esophagus, preventing the reflux of gastric acid inside it. Intraluminal endoscopic acid reflux surgery basically involves the same medical procedures, but performed through the means of an endoscope. This form of acid reflux surgery is very quick and its risks are minimal. The majority of patients recover rapidly after this form of acid reflux surgery and they usually don't require post-operatory treatment. Thanks to medical advance and the multitude of modern treatments available these days, acid reflux surgery can be performed in a quick, safe and efficthttps colon slash slash app.vidnami.com slash video slash 1367652 slash slidesive way.